This was a hospital. In 1952, that was post-World War II. In view of poor state of Singapore's post-war healthcare facilities, the Singapore Chinese Physician Association decided to promote TCM, traditional Chinese medicine to help the needed and poor and serve the community better. With that purpose, Chunghua Free Clinic was born in 1952. They started seeing their first patient on March 17, 1952. But now, this hospital has become a special theme cafe in Singapore. Many don't know about its history. It's artistic, detailed, and historical. There are so many great things that I love, and I love to talk about Singapore. And our scene is definitely one of the highlights. You don't need to go to gallery or museum. The arts actually exist everywhere throughout the entire Singapore. As I started conversations with the owner, who's French, he introduced me the history of the cafe. When he took over this place, it used to be the first free hospital in Singapore. He's the owner of this amazing cafe. Can you tell you a little bit about the history? So this was the first um, traditional Chinese medicine hospital in Singapore back in 1952. This is a hospital? The first hospital in Singapore. Really? Wow! Oh my goodness! And everything is vintage, real vintage from 1970. Wow! The glassware, the plates, the door is from 18, 1890. Wow! 1850, the wedding basket. Wow! That's so amazing! The ground floor used to be a room where uh, the poor people would come and see a doctor for free and receive medicine for free. That's why the name is freezing outside. This floor was a school to become a doctor, and the third floor above was a school to become a master doctor. Wow! And we took over eight years ago, uh, opened a French cafe with a big Chinese influence in everything we do, yeah. and just opened this private dining room six months ago. Super amazing. I have a YouTube channel, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so get people to know about your yeah, yeah. I was a general manager in five star hotels. I quit my job eight and a half years ago and took over the hospital back in 1952. And I wanted to take over the hospital and bring the memories of the past back into the, the hospital. So everything is all 1973. So you decorate more or it was like this before? Oh, no, we, we decorate. And the wall behind you, do you know what it is? Face it one by one. What is this? For the, the, the Chinese Ghost Festival, when we burn the paper, oh wow! Always a gold, gold paper inside. Wow! Even the wallpapers are made of the money that were burned into the spiritual creature during the Chinese Ghost Festival. This part is the upper floor of the cafe where they host private dinings only, while downstairs is for public dining. I sit down in the private dining area to appreciate the vibe and the history. What do you guys think? This is a napkin holder, like a fish. You can see the old hospital equipment and body sculpture and dragons. Lightings are also extremely beautiful. Seriously, some of this stuff are quite hard to find in Singapore these days. It's just so vintage. I also try out their food in the cafe as well. By the way, this video is not sponsored. It's solely my personal experience to share. So I order a sandwich, a curry dish, baked salmon, and with some coffee, of course. My favorite dish among all this is the curry dish, more of a Southeast Asian flavor. Whenever I go to cafe, I always love to pick a place with interesting interior designs. 
Not only I can enjoy the food, but I also pay a lot of attention to the details of the restaurants. I was truly amazed by how detailed this cafe is. I first entered the cafe seeing the super traditional old school Singaporean items like the bird cages, the fortune prayers, and lanterns. The chairs and tables are still from those old school pipes and metal tubes. Look at the texture, isn't it cool? Even the name cards are made of those recycled papers from the old times. Then, as I entered the cafe further, I realized the entire cafe is decorated with the wish papers at the ceilings, where people write down their wishes and hang them on the top. I also make my own wishes there. For me, I just wish my family and myself healthy and happy. What else is more important than that? The wish hanger is a bit high, so I have to find a chair to step on to hang it. Now it's all great. It's so colorful and beautiful, isn't it? It's art, history, spiritual, and more. I feel I can just hang around here the whole day, staring at all the details of decorations and arts. It was truly interesting to see how the owner turned this whole hospital into a cafe, but keeping all the great historical and vintage vibes. There are certainly so many great things that I love and I love to talk about Singapore, which I did in many of my previous videos, but the art scene here is definitely one of the highlights. You don't need to go to gallery or museum. The art exists everywhere throughout the entire city of Singapore. August Rodden said, beauty is everywhere. It is not that she is lacking to our eyes, but our eyes which fail to perceive her.